Namaste. Namaste. Today we are taking you on a journey, not just across a river, but across one of the boldest engineering marvels India has ever built, the Chenab Railway Bridge. Located in the Northern Indian Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir, it is not just an infrastructural milestone, but a symbol of modern engineering prowess. Spanning the Chenab River in the Riyasi district, this bridge is part of the Udhampur Srinagar Baramula Rail Link, that is USBRL. Project aimed at connecting the Kashmir Valley with the rest of India through its reliable railway network. With its arch shaped steel structure soaring 359 meters, that is 1,178 feet above the riverbed, higher than the Eiffel Tower. The Chenab Bridge holds the record of being the world's highest railway bridge, inaugurated for testing in the year. 2022, the nearing full operational status in 2024-2025, the bridge combines innovation, resilience and national, national integration. Dr. Bana, I believe you are a part of USBRL project. Could you throw some light on that, sir? Thank you, Deepika ji. Yes, I was part of the USBRL project, but my part was in the Kashmir Valley, which is known as Kazigund Baramula Rail Link Project, which is part of the overall Udhampur Srinagar Baramula Rail Link Project. And I was there from 2006 to 2009 as in charge of phase one and two. And the phase one was inaugurated by then Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh. And the phase two was inaugurated by Madam Sonia Gandhi. And during my tenure in Kashmir Valley, constructing this QBRL project, Many a times I was able to visit the construction site of this mammoth bridge and uh, there was a lot of learning, a lot of uh, interest and uh, that's how uh, I am today with you talking about this project. Dr. Bana, the main objective behind the construction of the Chenab Bridge was to provide all weather connectivity to Jammu and Kashmir by rail. The terrain of the Himalayas and the hostile environmental conditions have long made road travel unreliable. The strategic and economic imperatives in mind, the Indian Railways initiated the USBR project in 2002. The Chenab Bridge is considered the most challenging part of the project. With its purpose extending beyond transportation, it serves a symbol of integration and development aiming to enhance tourism, regional trade and strategic military logistics. Dr. Bana, can you give us a technical aspect of this engineering marvel? Yes, it's one of the engineering marvel, as you rightly said, and a designer's challenge. So it is the type of bridges, it's an arch bridge which has steel and concrete both being utilized. The height is 359 meters above the riverbed, which is highest for any railway bridge in the world. The next two bridges which are in the height are both in China. The length of the bridge is 1315 meters. The arch span is 467 meters. It uses the total bridge structure, including foundations and the reinforcement steel, uses more than 28,000 metric tons of steel, whereas the arch structure alone uses more than 10,000 metric tons of specialized and other types of steel. Because the environment and the structure designs requires it to have various types of steels. Some of the steels which have been utilized here are weathering steel because the terrain and the environment is very tough. So the specialized steel, which is called cotton steel, has been used, which is primarily used in the arch and the deck. And because this steel, the weathering steel, uh, when exposed to inclement and the kind of weather which is obtained there, a protective layer is formed on top of the steel. And this protective layer, which appears like a rust, does not allow the corrosion to go deeper inside and that's how 
it increases the longevity of the steel structure and it excellent resistance to atmospheric corrosion then we have high strength low alloy hsla steel which is used in the structural elements that require both strength and flexibility and uh, then we have stainless steel what we see generally in our day to day life and these are used for the bolts joints and components which are exposed to heavy moisture and again to have resistance better resistance against corrosion especially in highly exposed areas then we have structural steel e2 e250 grade and above for foundations supporting trusses and base structure and the technology used to construct this bridge involves several cutting edge technologies and uh, methods to overcome the region's extreme challenges like high wind speed deep gorge seismic activity and tough terrain and this arch especially uses uh, two rib steel arch construction then there are steel boxes filled with concrete to improve strength and stability this arch was built using cable cranes from both sides and connected in the center a technique which is called incremental uh, launching then there was cable crane system a unique direct crane was fabricated to use uh, to place segments in the deep gorge area and the bridge was built using temporary pylons and stay cables to support segments during construction and a lot of work was done using the digital surveying and 3d modeling digital twins were created and gps based alignment checks were uh, conducted and building information modeling so that there are no mistakes or mistakes are arrested before they actually happen and then the wind tunnel test was conducted in denmark to simulate wind speeds up to 266 km per hour and it helped shape the bridge's aerodynamic profile to to withstand high wind loads in the chenab valley then there was seismic resilience uh, design and the bridge is built to resist zone 4 and zone 5 seismic activity which are known as very high earthquake zones and can uh, resist an earthquake which could be more than 8 on richter scale and it incorporates dampeners and flexible bearings to absorb seismic shocks the welding in such a structure is a huge challenge and not only the welding but to ensure that the welding has been done joints have been connected or joined correctly so there were various uh, modern machines were used for welding and non destructive testing methods were used to check the integrity of the joints and robotic ins inspection tools were used to check the weld quality at places which are otherwise hard to, for humans to reach then during the geotech inspection uh, extensive rock bolting anchoring and slope stabilization has been done for foundations and abutments because this himalayan range are very sensitive and uh, tricky geology is obtained there and that was highly informative but may i ask what are some of the innovations practiced uh, during the construction dipika ji as i have mentioned the digital twin technology is a real time 3d model which helped engineers monitor the structure during construction and will continue to aid in long term maintenance then we had health monitoring system of the structure as such more than 100 sensors have been fixed at strategic locations to monitor stress vibrations and structural integrity we also have weather monitoring station which is installed on the bridge to ensure train movement happens only when the safe conditions prevail and then due to the security profile of the area the structure has been designed and constructed as a blast proof structure to withstand potential terrorist attacks making it a secure lifeline in a sensitive region it truly is a lifeline for so many people over there uh, 
May I ask, what are the prime benefits for this Udhampur Srinagar Baramula railway link? Deepika ji, a bridge is something more than just a connectivity. And as they, there's a shlok in Sanskrit, Bhumim na kevalam setur badhnati paryan dhruvam hridayani cha sanskriti hai jananam sanyukta nisa. A bridge does not merely unite the lands across the divide, it steadfastly connects hearts and fosters cultural pride. So first and foremost, benefit which is going to be visible is the tourism boost. The hotels and the tourism industry in valley and other areas is gearing up to handle the surge of tourists which is going to come to valley and other areas of JNK after the regular train services are set up. And because JNK is known for their stunning natural beauty and there are bound to be a lot of uh, domestic and international tourists thronging that place. Then we are going to have a lot of economic growth because many of the local produce which are unable to reach the mainland in time are going to find markets much faster. Similarly, the two-way economic activity will take place. People will hold conferences, meetings and uh, many other things will happen in Kashmir Valley and in Jammu and Kashmir as, as a whole. Uh, overall, movement and economic activity is going to take a big jump. Definitely, it will. May I know how were the environmental and social impacts mitigated? For any project of this size, planning for environmental implications and social impacts is part of the planning. So in this case also, during construction, environmental sensitivity was a top priority. Special care was taken to minimize deforestation and protect the river ecosystem. All construction waste was disposed of scientifically to avoid contamination and a lot of plantation was done wherever the roads were constructed, uh, slopes were stabilized and generally the effort and endeavor has been to protect and preserve the environment to cause minimum damage due to this bridge and the uh, entire railway project as a whole. Then due to this a uh, huge construction activity, which was the vision of our former Prime Minister, late Sri Atal Vihari Vajpayee ji. The uh, job creation has uh, taken a big jump in this area. And a lot of, uh, in fact, thousands of jobs directly or indirectly have been created, not only because of this bridge, but by, due to this project as a whole. And it also upskilled laborers and small contractors, engineers, some of them have now moved on to other national and international infrastructure projects. Wow, that sounds great. And how are local people viewing it? See, the local people are just fascinated. For an, the average local person, the Chenab Bridge is a symbol of what India can achieve when engineering, policy and purpose align. Its visibility in national news, Documentaries and even school textbooks have captured the imagination of general public. It has also sparked pride and inspiration in an average Indian, especially among the youth of Jammu and Kashmir. For many, it's a reminder that remote regions matter and that development can reach even the most isolated corners of the country. Very true. It really has sparked the pride and inspiration. But what are the future prospects? Now, as the train movement starts on this bridge, trains will run regularly from Udhampur to Srinagar. And tourism packages, including train rides over the bridge, will be introduced. And this bridge is going to be a regular kind of study, as a case study in civil engineering institutes and the bridge specialization forums and additionally the technologies and experiences gained during its construction are being looked at for future infrastructure projects in the same region and uh, country as a whole. Thank you Dr. Bana. that was really highly informative. So 
The Chenab Railway Bridge is more than just a piece of infrastructure. It's a bridge to the future, symbolizing innovation, unity, and the triumph for human with overall natural and logistical challenges. For the general public, it represents not only physical connectivity, but also emotional and cultural unity in a region long marred by isolation and conflict. As India continues to invest its transformative infrastructure, the Chenab Bridge stands as a powerful reminder of what is possible when vision meets engineering excellence. With that, we come to an end of this episode. We will be soon with you with yet another interesting infrastructure project. Thank you for being with us. Namaste, Namaste. and have a nice day. Oh, 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 oh,